As we've been reporting, Congress is preparing to take a final vote on President Biden's American Rescue Plan. The $1.9 trillion COVID relief package extends unemployment benefits of $300 a week through early September and $1,400 stimulus checks for Americans. There's also more money to help vaccination efforts and a child tax credit increase. A final vote on the legislation is expected to happen on Wednesday. For more on this, I'm joined by South Carolina Congressman and House Majority Whip Jim Clyburn. Congressman Clyburn, welcome. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. So a number of changes were made to this bill by your colleagues in the Senate, including on unemployment benefits. Now that it's back in the House, do you believe you have enough votes for this version of the legislation to pass? Yes, I do. I don't know that we ever send anything over the Senate, uh, not expecting them to do something to it. Uh, and in this instance, uh, they did cut uh, the uh, unemployment benefits back uh, by 100 bucks, I believe, from 400 to 300. But they extended it uh, to thir through September. Uh, and so uh, we didn't see that as being uh, all that harmful. Uh, they did take out uh, the $15 uh, an hour minimum wage increase that we had in it, that is harmful. But we are going to work uh, to get that $15. We are not going to stop with that. But uh, we feel that this is a good bill. Uh, in fact, in many instances, a very good bill. And so we are not ever going to get a perfect bill. Uh, we'll just keep working uh, toward a, a more perfect union uh, which the next piece of legislation will help to get to. So when are you hoping this bill will get to President Biden for final approval? And then when can Americans start to see those direct payments of $1,400 in their bank accounts? I think we'll pass this bill by noon tomorrow. Uh, I think the president should get it uh, sometime tomorrow evening. It may be able to have a signing uh, on Thursday or Friday. And I do believe that we'll get uh, the various agencies uh, will stop doing what they need to do uh, to get the benefits flowing, one of which will be the additional $1,400 we're putting on top of the $600 uh, in order for the American people to get the $2,000 per person that we promised. Uh, and also, uh, black farmers uh, are getting uh, uh, out of this bill something or some benefits that they have not seen uh, since um, the Civil Rights Act uh, back in 1964. Uh, also, uh, we are doing things for people restoring pensions by ability. A lot of people were under the threat of having their pensions dramatically reduced. Uh, we are fixing that uh, in this bill. So COVID-19 uh, has visited a lot of pain and suffering uh, among a lot of people. This legislation will help to relieve some of that pain. So this is a rescue bill. It's not a stimulus bill. It's a rescue bill. We're going to come back uh, in several weeks after the State of the Union with a big infrastructure bill, which we hope will stimulate the economy. In fact, we know it will. Uh, so uh, we're getting to where we need to be. Uh, the American people is getting uh, what this president promised. And that is to be a president for everybody. And that's why you see us passing this bill. But we don't get a single Republican vote. 60% uh, of the Republicans in this country mm -hmm. say they're for this bill. 71% of independents are for this bill. Uh, and we feel that we're doing exactly uh, what the president promised, and that is uh, to be uh, a president for everybody. Uh, in our final minutes here, Congressman, how do you get infrastructure done, though, given that you didn't have a single Republican vote on this relief package? And also, what about the minimum wage? Where does that fall? How soon do you think that will actually move forward? I don't know how soon it will move. I, I know that we will find a way to get it done. I know the president has promised it, and I think we're going to do it. Now, what you've already seen is some modifications to this. Uh, by uh, the Democrats uh, who say uh, they are for the, the $15, they want to do $11 and index it. That simply means 
that you go to eleven dollars immediately and then index it going forward. That may be the way to go. I know this. Uh, we've never indexed minimum wage before, not that I recall, not since I've been here. We always talk about it, but we never do it. Uh, so uh, if we were to do the $15, remember, it was not going to be done overnight. We were talking to get the $15 for a period of five years, which could be tantamount mm -hmm. to indexing. So I just uh, believe that um, we're going to get this done one way or the other. And you could get Republican support on minimum wage and infrastructure, both, you think, Congressman? No, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, but I don't know that you have to have partisan Republican votes up here in order to do what needs to be done for Republicans out in the hinterlands. For Republicans, support what we're doing. That makes it bipartisan as far as I'm concerned. Uh, if the Republicans up here would much rather score political points than do things that need to be done uh, for their constituents, and maybe their constituents will be voting Democrats uh, for Democrats the next time. Congressman Jim Clyburn of South Carolina. Congressman, thanks very much for your time. Thank you for having me.